We are now ready to explore a first code we use technique, which is the CF include tag. So let's return to Cold Fusion Builder and let's go to that includes folder in which you have the login form.cfm file. So I open that file and I run it in the browser. You see that it is a very simple form. It has two fields, the email address field, the password field, and of course that login submit button. Now this is the login form that I want to see in the top right corner of every pages of my website. So let's return to Core Fusion Builder and see how we can include that form in the pages of the website. First, let's do the home page. The home page is index, but you have here index.cfm and index.html. Now, that index.cfm page has been automatically generated by CoolFusion Builder when you created the CoolFusion project earlier in this course. And if you open that CFM file, you see that it is completely empty. So let's close that file and I can safely delete it. And instead, I will rename that HTML file, which is the static version of the home page of the static site. And I will rename it into a.cfm page to make it the home page of the dynamic site. So let's open that index page. And here you see a comment, include the login form here. So just below the comment, I will write a CF include tag. And you see that the CF include tag comes with one attribute, which is the template attribute. And I will use that attribute to specify the path to the file that I want to include at that location. So the file that I want to include is in the includes folder. And inside of that folder, I want to include the login form dot CFM, like that. Oops, CFM. Okay, let's save and run that page. And here you see that the login form is present in the top right corner of this page. And if you scroll down the page, you will see the debug output. And here you see that CoFusion has processed two files. The index.cfm, which is the file that I have actually requested, plus the login form that I have included inside of that index.cfm. So this means that I can copy paste that CF include tag in the other pages of the website and use a single login form.cfm page, develop my login form only one time and test it and debug it, and then reuse that with that CF include tag on every pages of the website. But let's push that reasoning to the next step because there are some other parts of your code that are the same in every pages of the site. So let's create two additional files in the includes folder one called Fusion page here that will be the header.cfm and a second called Fusion page that will be the footer.cfm, like that. Now I return to my index page and here you have a second comment which says last line to be included in header.cfm. You see that this comment is just above the page body, the beginning of the page body div. So let's select from that comment to the top of the site, the top of the code, and I will cut that code. So Control X if you're on Windows, Command X if you're on the Mac, and then I will paste it inside of header.cfm, like that. So I move that code to header.cfm. Now what is that code? Well, it's the head section of the HTML where I call the JavaScript files and the CSS style sheet. It's also the header of the site where I have the logo and the login form. And it's also the main menu bar of the site, which is right here in that unordered list. So that's the header.cfm. Now I save that page, return to the index and I replace the code that I have moved to header.cfm by a CF include and the template that I want to include now is in the includes folder but it is now the header.cfm. I will do the same for the bottom of the code. So here at the end of the code I have that footer which is the same on every page. So let's cut paste it into footer.cfm and in index where that footer used to be, let's use a CF include once again, like that, to include in the includes folder, the footer.cfm. Now let's 
save and run the page and hopefully oops we have a mistake now let's take a look at that error it's an error that occurs on line 20 when we include the login form i don't know if you anticipated that one but it is perfectly logic so let's return to cofusion builder and let's try to understand what's going on so here I include the login form from the header, but you see that header and login form are in the same folder, it's in the same includes folder. So inside of header.cfm, I can directly include the login form.cfm without providing the name of that includes folder because header.cfm and login form.cfm are in the same folder. So let's save now that new version of the header.cfm and let's run index.cfm again and now now it works and you see in the debug output here that we actually include four files in the request index that is the main file the file that i have actually requested plus header and footer and login form that are included inside of that request using cf includes now that i use the header.cfm and the footer.cfm for the index page let's do the same with another page of the site so let's take that agenda page for instance so here i will go here i see the page body that begins so i can safely remove the code that is above the beginning of the page body div and i can replace it with a cf include that goes to the includes folder and that includes the header.cfm file. Now we'll do exactly the same, you guessed it, with the bottom of the code here. So here, the footer, I can safely remove it from that agenda page and replace it with a CF include to include the includes slash footer.cfm. All right, let's test it out to see if it works and you see that the agenda.cfm page works perfectly and again in the debug information right here I can see that the footer and the header are indeed included in that request it means that if I change something into header.cfm the change that I will make here will impact index and agenda at the same time so let's do some changes here for example I will change the links to the old HTML files to the new CFM files. All right, so let's return to index.cfm. Let's run it into the browser. And normally those two links here should be active. So I can go to agenda.cfm and I can return to the home page to index.cfm because those two pages are using the same code for the link bar and so they are using the same href of the a tag of html but there is one small problem i'm now on the home page and you see here the tab in google chrome it says hd street concert band welcome and if i go to agenda.cfm it also says hd street concert band welcome and this is because both those pages are using the same header.cfm and header.cfm has that title tag of html that says hd street concert band welcome now i would like to change the title on each page so that each page of my site has a slightly different title but this is the limit of the cf include i cannot customize the cf include each time i use it so I include the file as is and it is always the same that I include. Hopefully, Cold Fusion has some more code reuse techniques that will help us solve that problem.